Hello everybody. Yesterday, we're blessed with yet another episode of Yellowstone Season 4. This season has consisted of most of the hits so far, as we didn't get any filler episodes. We know that Yellowstone is not exactly the type of a TV show that will have filler episodes to pass the time. That being said, usually there are some duds in each season of the series that are lacking behind compared to the rest of the episodes of the season. Still, even those so-called duds are better than almost every other TV show on air right now. Therefore, we feel uncomfortable even criticizing Yellowstone, as it's already making wonders. Our criticisms are mere observations on points that are making this series less perfect than it already is. Since we have given our disclaimer, now we can confidently say that this episode wasn't as great as the others in the series. Titled, No Kindness for the Coward, the episode mainly focused on laying grounds for the big events to come, which is why it felt like a transition from one thing to another. It wasn't bad by any means, but it wasn't great. We were all expecting a face-off between Jamie and John in this episode. However, unfortunately, it seems like we have to wait for yet another week to watch an epic showdown of these powerful personalities. Still, we witness Jamie questioning his position against his father, John, when it comes to politics. He expressed that since every single politician in the state owes John something, it's almost impossible for Jamie to win over him. He said that the only thing he has is his name, which is also given by John. It was clear that Jamie was suffering as he was feeling like a failure. At that point, Garrett came in and expressed that he is as powerful as John, but he has to work harder by convincing some prominent names to his side through some tricks. He encouraged Jamie to race against John, as it's too early to give up right now. Then, Jamie's baby mother stood out and made a very solid point about John. She said that the only reason for John to race for the governor is to rival Jamie since, otherwise, he would have raced for the position already. She expressed that the second Jamie steps down, John would leave his candidate position to someone else, since he has no true desire in being a governor. Then, they concluded that Jamie needs to meet John to discuss what will be off the table during the campaigning period. Towards the end of the episode, we watched Jamie calling John and arranging a meeting. This means that next week will be epic as far as Jamie and John are concerned. Another important incident of the episode was Beth's strange, delicate but also dangerous games against market equities. Playing double sides perfectly, Beth managed to organize a protest in the construction side of the airport, which forced Market Equities to stop construction as there were hundreds of protesters. When Market Equities felt helpless on what to do, Beth recommended kicking off the press from the site and even volunteered to let them know herself. When she went to the site, however, she met with a journalist and told her to stay nearby since there will be major things happening in the area soon. She also told Market Equities to apply to violence by arranging security forces to raid the protesters. Her plan worked like a clock, as she and Summer Higgins managed to not only organize a protest, but also be attacked by the security forces violently and is documented by the press while doing it. Local press reported the incident as if the protesters were the attackers toward the security forces. However, Market Equities knew that this narrative would be changed if the national news hears about it. Well, Beth was aware of this fact too, which is why she called New York Times and let them know about what's been going on. That's to say, Beth and Summer joined their forces to ruin market equities, and they have been highly successful in their purpose so far. When John asked Beth what she has been up to, she said, What do you ask me to do, father? At the end of the episode, we witnessed a robbery attempt at a diner. Rip and John were on their way to the diner, since they were going to meet the sheriff to discuss who tried to kill John. However, when they arrived, they noticed that something was wrong since nobody was eating and everyone was looking at each other. They broke in through the back door and managed to take things under control by killing the criminals, however, unfortunately, the sheriff got killed during the incident, leaving us all surprised. It seemed for a second as if all these were happening too suddenly, out of nowhere. However, we believe that this tragic incident will have a major impact on the campaigning process John. He will probably be seen as the hero of Montana which will devastate Jamie. Meanwhile, Monica and Casey enjoyed their newly found happiness throughout the episode, as Monica is pregnant again. That being said, the things look too good to be true for the two, which looks suspicious to us. Still, we hope the best for the couple, as it's always fun to watch them being happy. What do you think of Yellowstone Season 4 Episode 8? Did you like the episode? Were you also let down not to see Jamie and John's face off this episode? Do you think Jamie has any chance against John in the race?
What about Beth? Do you think the market equities will notice what she has been up to? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one.